Well, hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Speed Build Monday, everybody's favorite day of the week. And today we are back building a house for a Let's Play family because I feel like that's all I ever do is build houses for my Let's Play family. But today we are building a house for the infamous Lucas, who is my main Sam, my main squeeze my man, uh, in my Regs Riches Challenge, which I am doing and have been doing for nearly 40 parts now. So if you've been missing out on that, I suggest you go and watch it because it's fabulous. Uh, not to, you know, plug my own pl Let's Play, but it's pretty good. Um, he just got married, spoiler alert. So it's, yes, it is coming up roses and he's very rich, <laughs> if you want to know. Not quite rich enough though, because it hasn't ended yet. Anyway, uh, he did get married and he is having a kid and probably going to have more kids. Uh, so we are building him a nice home, a different home than what he's used to because he has been living in quite a modern home. But I decided to go classic and build a colonial style house for him and his wife and his future kid. And right now his son, who's going to move out soon. His son is an adult, so he needs to move out. Uh, so yeah, so we were building a colonial home here which is great it is com comes complete with four bedrooms three bathrooms uh it's got master bedroom it's got a teen boys room it's got a little girls room and a nursery and it's got two ba bathrooms upstairs and one bathroom downstairs obviously your kitchen living room family room things like that so it is quite a nice house i'm i'm happy with it i've been playing in it because i have been playing the reg switches challenge obviously uh so I've been pretty happy with it. I think it's a good layout and everything works, which is always a good thing. So that's fun. Um, anyway, guys, hope you're having a fabulous Monday at this point. I know Monday sucks. I also know that summer is over for some people um, or just about to be over for some people and then very shortly over for the people that I live with um, or that I live near because everybody is still working in my house. But uh, my camps are going to end soon. If you don't know, my job is to run day camps for little kids, and they're going to be going back to school in about two, three weeks, three weeks, three weeks until they go back to school, which is insane. Also, if you haven't been keeping up with the whole, it's been smoky and gross here because we have wildfires all throughout the province. Um, it has been very smoky here, uh, but finally the smoke has cleared and our, uh, weather or our air quality advisory has finally been lifted so uh i'm pretty happy with that because i can actually breathe again when i go outside because as someone with asthma it's very hard to go outside when it is very smoky out also it just always looked like it was gonna rain and then never rained and it was very depressing so i'm happy about that i'm also just happy that i survived the week that i just survived because it was the week from hell um i knew i knew going into that week it was going to be bad um, I've known it for a long time. It was one of those weeks that I was dreading to do. It was just the camp that I was going to work. Um, the kids were, like, there's just so many kids, and it was so hard to keep track of everybody. And then I also did aftercare, so I stayed from 9 until 5.30, technically 9 until 5.45. One day, 9 until 6, but you don't get paid for all that um, because you take breaks and stuff. But it is a, it's a long day. And I remember it, it was a short week because we had Monday off because it was BC day. However, it felt like the longest week in history. <laughs> it felt so long that week. I thought Friday was never going to come. And look, Friday came, went. It's now Sunday, uh, Monday for you guys. So I'm back at work, which really sucks. But then I have two weeks off. So I have to get through this week and then I have two weeks off. Two weeks off from that work. I have to go to my other work, but it's not nearly as frequent. So I'll have some long weekends in there. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, my family has arrived every year, twice a year, at Christmas and at uh, in the summertime. My family comes out. Uh, we throw a big family party, things like that. So that'll be happening fairly shortly. Um, I don't really look forward to them, to be honest. My family is my family. Is my family. And as much as I love them, they are still family. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm only going to say that because I think people with families know that sometimes you don't, you know, the families aren't the greatest. So that's always fun. Um, that's, yeah, it's just, it's too much. It's too much. And I, I, I say this every time I see them, it's always too much, but we only ever do like one get together. And actually my mom, and my brother are over at my grandparents right now. It's just, I didn't really want to go over there. I had too much to do. I wanted to make my lunch for the week 
Um, I wanted, I had to go grocery shopping today, obviously take my dog out, do my laundry, all these things, and I was just, I didn't have time to sort of put things off. I also wanted to record, to be honest, so I did that instead of going to see my grandparents, but don't feel too bad for them because I'm always the one to go and see my grandparents. Usually it's my brothers who don't, um, but this time I decided to take a little bit of time for myself. Also, I'm pretty sure we're throwing the family party next weekend, so I'll see them then. Um, probably see them during the week as well because my grandpa is building us, like fixing our stairs for our front deck, so I'll see him at least. And maybe my grandma if she comes with them. So, Yes, that is what they are doing. I am at home. I'm going to, I was going to have hot dogs for dinner, but I think I'm going to do pizza. Um, I just, I bought a pizza. I always stock a frozen pizza in my freezer as like an emergency for when I don't feel like cooking, which is, it always works out. It's whenever I buy the pizza that day, I don't feel like cooking. So probably going to throw that into the oven. Um, and then I've got more building to do because if you don't know, tomorrow, uh, Two videos will actually be coming out. One is obviously the Rags to Riches Challenge, which comes out every Tuesday. And then after that, or it might be before that, I haven't figured out like the order they're coming out in. But I'm doing a collab and I have to go and furnish that house because the person that I did the collab with made a massive, gorgeous house. Uh, so it's taken a little bit to uh, furnish it, but it is well worth it because it is quite a stunner. And if you want a big house and you have a big family, this house is for you. So I got to go finish furnishing that and then do a voiceover for that, all that fun stuff. Um, I just came off recording rig switches, which is always fun. I just love, I just love that family. I love Lucas. Everybody knows that I have this obsession with Lucas. <laughs> he's just, he's so cute. <laughs> he's just, he's one of my favorite Sims, to be honest. He was, he was in fact my first Let's Play Sim. So he has a very special place in my heart. Uh, anyway, we are here in the kitchen, in the kitchen. Also, speaking of back to school, which I know I'm past that point, but I want to go, I want to rewind, rewind to it because I don't know about you guys, but I am somebody who's very obsessed with watching, um, moving into dorm videos or like back to school videos despite the fact that no I am not going back to school this year and even in previous years I was never going back to a dorm or moving into a dorm um, I lived pretty close to campus up until I moved away uh, I moved about half an hour away so it wasn't too too bad I used to live like five minutes from campus though um, but I'm I'm so obsessed with those videos. Me and my friend are so obsessed. And when they first came out this year, she like messaged me on Facebook and was like, Oh my god, the videos are coming out. We have to watch all of them. I just get so obsessed with them. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I think I'm living vicariously through all the people who went away to school because that was something I was gonna do. But then I went to the school that was near my house because it was just cheaper and easier. Um, so I did that instead, but yeah, I just get so obsessed with them and I'm not even going back to school and I'm just like, I need all of these. So that's what I've been doing with my spare time. Um, watching moving into dorm videos is usually it's both moving into the dorm and like a day in the life of a college student. Maybe I compare to how their life was different to my day in the life because they seem to be like, wake up, go to class and then like hang out around campus. Me, first of all, I would wake up, I would roll out of bed, I would not put any effort into what I was wearing, <laughs> usually was just yoga pants and a hoodie, um, you'd be lucky if I didn't wear yoga pants, you'd be lucky if when I wasn't wearing yoga pants, I also wasn't wearing sweatpants, because I wore that a lot too. Anyway, roll out of bed, go to school, do my class, if I had other classes, I'd do those obviously, and if I had spare time in between my classes which I tried to do it back to back. One summer, I did do summer classes and I had back to back to back. I had six hours of straight class, which was hell. Also, all in the same room. So I just sat in the same room all day. It was, it was strange. Uh, anyway, I do my classes and then I just go home. Like I never hung out on campus. It was never, I also, I use the library for obviously getting my books um, and meeting like group members and stuff never use it to just study in unless I had a spare like a break in between classes would never use the library for that I always studied at home so um I like how some one thing I'm very jealous that I see especially in the states mostly in the states is where I'm watching all of these videos take place uh but they have all of these really cool like study rooms which my library had as well 
but you had to book them. You can only book them for two hours and they were technically four groups, but I used to book them for solo sessions because I preferred if I was going to study there. My phone went off. What is happening? Okay. Nothing important. Um, I would book them for myself and it was just quieter and easier. And I always felt weird watching, like looking, if I watched YouTube videos or something, I felt weird with people sitting behind me could see them. Anyway, just a pet peeve of mine. But these, some of these campuses just have random rooms throughout the school where you could just go and do study stuff. And I was like, that's pretty cool. Some of these campuses are so cool. I guess because I went to more of like a local one. It wasn't as, and there's no dorms there. So everybody who went to that school was local. So they didn't, they had a Tim Hortons and they did have like a cafeteria. I only ever ate in there once. And that was like my last semester of my of my undergraduate degree pretty crazy that I only ever ate there once I only went to the school for two years I went to another school that was only about half an hour away uh, via SkyTrain uh, for my first two years and then yeah it was, it was a lot of fun so I'm obsessed with those videos um, I'm also also I baked cookies just for the sake of baking cookies like I didn't really eat them um, I had a couple today, but that's about it, and I baked them yesterday. Usually, I devour them. Uh, I just, I just wanted to bake them, so that was fun. <laughs> so much fun. Also, I'm sorry to all those people who are going back to high school or elementary school, because that really sucks. I do, however, I do, however, love, love, love shopping for school supplies. It is my favorite thing to do, and when I was in elementary school... Um, in my last house, we used to, or my mom used to, you could order these bags of school supplies, and basically you would order it through, a, like, this company that was an affiliate through the school, and then you'd go to the local, uh, we went to the local, like, PharmaSave, which is, like, a pharmaceutical place, I don't know why they had it there, that was strange, thinking back on it, but you'd get this g ginormous, uh, paper bag filled with all of your school supplies, all in one bag, um, cause you just basically order what your school recommended. You could, how you do it is you like write in, I think, I can't remember if my mom did it online or not. I don't know if it was that advanced yet, but she would like fill in my name, what school I went to, uh, what teacher I was going to have that year, things like that. So that that company knew exactly what to put in that bag. And it was just this giant bag of all your notebooks, your pens, your pencils, your rulers, your compasses or like your little protractor set or whatever and then all of that fun stuff I remember going to, <laughs> to pick those up every year it was just so much fun to get that stuff and then high school rolled around and you didn't we didn't have that same system so we had to go out obviously and buy all of our school supplies and of course my mom being the cheap one always bought us the cheap stuff and my friends would come to school with all these like cool notebooks and I just have like the plain ones and oh man the only time of back to school that I really liked. And every year I told myself I was going to be a better student. And every year I lied to myself. Because I never was. I never, in high school, I always told myself that I was going to go to class. And I was going to participate. And I was going to do my homework. Never, ever did that. And in, in university, I always told myself that I was going to do all the readings. Never did that either. So, you know, don't live like me. <laughs> do your homework. Um, I feel like if I applied myself better, I probably could have gone to a, a more prestigious school. I just didn't care. <laughs> I still don't, really, honestly. Um, I do wish... There are, there are parts of me that wish that I had have applied myself to get scholarships to go to, like, a faraway school. However, if I had have done that, I would not have gotten my dog. So it's like, what do I compare that to, you know? Like, getting my dog... Or going away to school because I got my dog in the in 2015. So I was in my third year. I was going into my third year of my undergraduate degree, and because that was a sp yeah spring semester or winter semester whatever of 2015, and I was a semester behind because I took a semester off because I was supposed to do a summer semester, but I said no, so I was a semester behind. Um, and yeah, so. I ended up getting my dog in 2015, my third, going into my third year. So I wouldn't have done that if I had it gone away. So I was like, mm, did I really miss out? I don't think so. 
I think I, I think I won that one. But there are parts of me that really do wish that I had a, maybe exceeded a little bit more. But uh, hindsight's always twenty twenty, And there are still parts of me that want to go back to school as well. Um, I just don't know what, what for yet. I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting that itch because I haven't found like my career yet. When you get a history degree, you don't exactly come out with a career. So I haven't found that yet. So maybe if I find that, that back to school itch will go away. I also think it's just the time. It's August. It's back to school season. Everybody's getting their school supplies. I could go out and buy a bunch of random school supplies, but I don't need them. So it's one of those things where I'm just like, "Mm, man, I kind of miss it. But at the same time, I remember writing those papers and those long nights of being stressed out and having to do the presentations. Then I say, do I really miss it? I don't really think so. Um, Anyway, guys, I also forgot all the curtains in this house, so I apologize for that. Um, Maybe I'll put curtains in before I upload it. I think I'll do that. And we are finishing up here. I'm just doing the backyard, which is my basic backyard routine of like, usually has a pool, a few trees, some, some bushes things like that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date on all this nonsense, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, I really appreciate it. I've been having a blast with these. It's kind of like my <laughs> my sanity coming back, keeping my sanity, I guess. After a long day work, all you want to do is play The Sims, right? That's all I want to do. That's all I think about. It's like, when can I get home to play The Sims? I'm also a big fan of this house. Don't think I said that. Big fan big fan. I love colonial houses. Also was inspired by a house that I drove by on my way to work that's also for sale, but way too much money for me to afford. So I won't get to live in it, but I can at least look at it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye. We're going to finish the shrubbery and then I'm going to go. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, so we're going to do an OG fly through, not one of those fancy like cinematic mode ones, because for some reason, the Sims 4 gallery seems to be broken. And whenever I go to like save this to my library, it won't save. So therefore, the only place that it's placed right now is for my Rags to Riches challenge. And they have a bunch of like personal items in here that I don't want to like get rid of. And I feel like explaining them to you would be a lot better than seeing them in cinematic mode and be like, what the heck are those? So we're going to do it this way. Anyway, here's the front of the house. Definitely very classic colonial style home. Definitely in love with it because I would love to live in this house. And it's for sale. It's just very expensive where I live, but it is based off that. Uh, There is my very pregnant Haley. She's not very pregnant. She's like second trimester, but she is married to Lucas. Um, And then you come into the front door and it's just sort of open to the living kind of family room area, I guess, with the computer and things like that. uh, Open to that. And then you have obviously these grand stairs that go up. I've been in love with like doorways coming into grand stairs it's kind of been one i've been building recently uh and here's like a more formal living room area it's very small just off the kitchen it's just sort of a random space that i had a random room that i had so i definitely placed some random things there and then in here is the kitchen very big lots of storage space even though your sims don't use storage space but it looks nice um and then just sort of an eat-in counter area fridge stove all your basic necessities and here is the dining room which is very nice also if you're wondering why all of these paintings are placed all around the area it's because i'm doing the rags riches challenge so they have to have a house worth three hundred fifty thousand. is the last step in that like reward i guess uh aspiration so all of these paintings are all over the place because they're worth the most so and we have money to burn uh here's a little kind of like mud room area before you go out to the backyard very cute shoes all that here once again the family room or yeah the family room and here is a bathroom with our maid who looks less than pleased with us uh very small just wanted an extra bathroom out here is the backyard uh there was lucas's rocket ship which is why he's standing there but i took it out for this uh pool hot tub diving board our gardener our very luscious garden um and then if you go upstairs you have lj looking at once again this painting that is all over our house we have a fish area and here's the master bedroom and all of our wedding photos oh i'm so in love with all these wedding photos so this was taken for our wedding which was last part which was last week actually so there's lucas and okay i'm not gonna go into this because this is not what this is for but that's our wedding photos that's why the wall was a little bare when i built it uh bed closet they 
have a master ensuite with a lot. It's a four piece. So they got tub, shower, toilet, and sink out here. And here is, oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that, but it's a bathroom. <laughs> Nothing special. There's LJ, their son, who looks like Justin Trudeau. Anyway, we're, we're already past that. And here's a little girl's room, just pink and bright and fun. Um, and here is the nursery. It's a blue, it's like a greenish purple vibe that I went for. Definitely loving the greens for nurseries for some reason. And here is a teenager's room. Very messy all over the place. I have no idea what Haley's going to have, but I kind of made a room for everything. So yeah, that is the house. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button um, and that like button. I've already said this before, but I wasn't expecting to do this kind of fly through, so forgive me. Anyway, if you want to download it, it will be, well, it will not be the down bar, but my EA Origin ID will be. Hopefully I can get it up to the gallery if it decides to work at some point. Um, that would be nice. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!